In this video, we will introduce you to SPSS. We will introduce you to the interface, the user interface, and we will discuss some toolbars and drop-down menus and how commands are organized, and then some hands-on training with SPSS. When you launch SPSS, it opens up with two simultaneous windows. The first one, for now, you can just simply click on Close and look at the more important window, which is lying just behind it. Essentially, this user interface or this particular window is the data editor window where you can see the data would be in rows and columns, rows representing to each respondent, and the columns are dedicated to variables. And at the same time, you see toolbars through which you can run the analysis, but the real essence of the program is hidden, hidden behind these drop-down menus. Everything to do with data is under data, transformation of data under transform, statistical analysis under analyze and graphing and charting under graphs. When we open a data set, this window will be full with data where rows will represent each observation and the variables will be in columns. Now let's open a data set to see how it looks like. Again, we are referring to the same data set from University of Texas. When the data set is displayed in the data editor window, you would notice that the variables are in columns and you can see the column names. Each row represents a particular course in the data set. So this row 2 would represent one course taught by um, a visible minority professor who's 36 years old, she's female, and the beauty score is 0.29, she received a teaching evaluation of 0.37, and so on and so forth. The other very interesting part of SPSS is its ability to help you understand how your data is organized. You can look at the variable view by clicking on variable view. In the variable view, you see each variable listed in a separate row. Their type, is it a string or a character variable or numeric variable? Their display characteristics, if the variable has a label, if it's a categorical variable, it, if it has any values, if they were missing information in it, and at the same time some other SPSS specific definition or types of variables and if you're familiar with um, data mining you would notice that it defines a variable role as either input or target. Now you see the syntax window every time you ran, um, run a command in SPSS um, by executing that command it runs a syntax which you can paste in the syntax window and this is the best way to keep track of what the, your work and it offers you the ability to reproduce your analysis by just highlighting the, the, the code and pressing the run button. Your output is sorted in um, and placed and organized in the output window. All uh, graphical and tabular data or output is, is carefully uh, organized. You have a legend here and all the output in detail here. Now let's launch SVSS and get some hands-on training. We will open the teachings rating data by clicking on this icon on the user on the toolbar. Click teaching ratings and then click open. The data set is displayed in the data editor and the variable view is available with this toggle here. Here you can see the variable view and the data view is here. At the same time you can uh, you will notice that SPSS opens the output window that becomes the home for all the analysis that you will do with that will be stored in the output window. Let's say we would like to compute the descriptive statistics for some of the variables which are continuous variables so we click on analyze descriptive statistics and then click on descriptives and then select age, teaching evaluation score and then click from option C. We have the mean, the standard deviation, minimum, and maximum selected. So continue and say OK. As soon as we say OK, the output is presented here. The minimum age is 29, the maximum age is 73, and the average age is 48.37 with a standard deviation at 9.8. Another way of doing the same is to use the syntax. We click on this icon to get the last dialog box we used and instead of clicking on OK I would click on paste to paste the syntax in the syntax window. 
you could see that this is the command that SPSS actually executed. Another way of getting the same output is to highlight this command and say run and it will run the selection and you could see the same output is reproduced this time by clicking on the syntax. Let us conclude this video by generating a histogram differentiated by gender. We click on graphs, we click on uh, chart builder, we click on histogram, click on this, drag it here, it says the distribution variable which is teaching evaluation, we put it here, and the sp split variable, let's say gender, we dr just drag it here, and now we have the option of clicking on OK or paste, we just say OK, and your histogram is ready, and this dif displays the histogram for or the distribution of teaching evaluation scores um, for males separate from females.